Hi everyone, welcome back to Chao Home Cloud. In this video, I am going to demonstrate what is Git Reset, what is Git Revert, followed by Reset versus Revert. Let's get started and see these two commands in practical demonstration. Right, so first let's look into Git Reset. For this demonstration, I have a repository. Its name is WABot. Let's clone this repository. After cloning, let's cd into it and uh, open Visual Studio Code. Now, let's make a change and uh, do a commit. Keep this commit local and uh, see the demonstration of git reset command right i'm adding a line ansible stage this change followed by commit after committing let's check its logs The recent commit is this one with the commit message Ansible. So I want to remove this commit. This commit is private means this commit is not at push to remote. This is present only in local. Now I want to remove this commit and changes made part of this commit. For that I'm going to use reset command. How reset command works? Using reset command if i give this commit id for example it removes all above commits if i give this one and it's going to remove all four here but in our case i want to remove only the recent one this is the one so i point reset command to this commit id copy that get reset and uh, commit id go and check the history again the commit with message ansible is gone right the commit is removed from the uh, history but changes are there in working area git reset takes three different options one soft reset second one hard reset third one mixed reset if no option is mentioned, it takes mixed as a default option. Mixed reset removes the commit and it keeps changes in working area. If you perform status and changes not staged, which means the changes are in working area. So here I didn't mention any specific option, but I said default option is mixed and it removes commit and keeps changes in working area. Let's repeat this with a soft reset and hard reset. I stage them again. I'm committing it then git reset let's use soft this time but we have to pick up the commit ID for this git log one line because we want to remove this guy so I pick up the commit ID which is uh, one commit previous to the recent one copy that get reset this time let's use soft soft means remove the commit and uh, keep changes in staging area get status and this time changes are in staging area which is ready for commit 
correct previously it was mixed changes were uh, in working area because the default option is hyphen hyphen mixed and in this case we used soft reset the changes are in staging area if you wish to permanently discard changes then we do hard reset okay when do we use soft reset for example we made a commit including few files and let's say we missed one change that is uh, sitting in working area i can either make a new commit or just remove the recent commit uh, and bring changes into staging area and pick up the changes missed in working stage it and combine all together and make a single commit that's the use case for using soft reset now let's close this with hard reset let me recommit and uh, after recommitting let me pick up the log i mean commit id from the log so i pick up this commit id because i want to remove the above one get reset hard commit id and if you see tools.txt the change is not present in staging and also not present in working it's permanently discarded to summarize reset command is used to remove a commit from the history and its changes we got clarity on git reset now it's time to jump on to understanding what is git revert let me add a fresh change save it commit that now i want to push this commit to remote which becomes a public commit in earlier demonstration i kept the commit only in local this time i'm pushing changes to remote right now the change is made public means the commit is made public which is available in remote repository now let's try removing this commit otherwise let's try undoing changes in this commit with help of reset command so that we get idea about how reset works followed by we will do the same operation using revert command get log one line perfect this commit is public now it is present in remote uh, i use reset because i want to remove the latest commit so i should point my reset command to its below commit id copy that get reset i want to permanently remove that this permanently removes the commit and also discards changes get log one line yes that's gone ansible commit is gone in local only in local now i want to push this to remote for that because i i mean i i remove changes only in local right now i want that effect in remote as well let me try this get push origin main yes it got rejected and uh, if you see the reason why it got rejected see that because the tip of your current branch is behind its remote counterpart which means we have a commit in remote which is not present in local otherwise our local is one commit below the copy of remote because of that it got rejected 
and the solution for this is git pull if we do git pull again that commit comes back and changes also come back let's try that git pull origin main and yes the change is back again so the point is reset won't work for public commits reset works only for local commits but if my requirement is to discard those changes now the solution is revert let's try revert now get log one line i want to revert this commit means i want to discard changes in this commit in case of reset we use a commit below it but in case of revert we directly use the commit we want to revert so copy the commit itself commit id itself come out of this so get revert commit id what happens it won't remove the commit rather it removes changes in the commit makes a new commit see that it's prompting me for a commit message uh, yeah the default commit message we got is revert ansible i'm fine with default commit message save and close this editor and try git log see that commit is still there but on top of it a new commit is made and changes are discarded see changes are gone so probably you noticed the difference between reset and revert in case of reset the commit itself removed from the history and revert commit is retained in the history hold on so only in local the changes are reverted but still in the remote the changes are there open tools file and you see ansible in the remote now let's push local operations to remote so that this will disappear from remote as well get push origin main perfect do a refresh and it's gone change is gone but it is still there in the history in future if you need those changes again you can get it back